So why key shifting? There are 12 keys. Um, every track will be in one of those 12 keys. So if you want to stick to this principle of mixing in either the same key or in the circular fifth, uh, progressing upwards, that will reduce our options of available tracks to only 2 twelfths or 16% of our collection. So if I have a C track, I can only play another C track or a G track. Uh, all the other 10 keys which I have are not available according to this. If I key shift my track by one semitone, um, a much bigger variety of tracks becomes available. So if I key shift down one semitone, my C track becomes a B track. And hence I can mix it, mix it with another B track or a E track. If I key shift up one semitone, the C track becomes a D flat track and becomes mixable with other D flat tracks or a fifth up, a A flat track. So the tracks available will be 50% as opposed to 12 up to 16%. That's a big improvement. So let's take a look at uh, key shifting. Uh, tractor gives you a very poor control over your key shifting with this little knob here and these plus and minus buttons. You can click around here and you have an increasement or decreasement of 10% uh, of a note. Uh, but that's not what I need. What I need uh, is a jump by one semitone and I want to have it on my controller and not using the mouse. So in order to do that I created a mapping for myself. You can see it here. First of all I create a modifier for the shift buttons here and then I created the key adjust buttons like so uh, using my loop in and out buttons. So when I press shift and loop in or loop out using this map I will jump uh, one semitone up and down. Watch this one here. So now I'm going down one semitone, down another semitone, up, up, up one semitone. So by using shift and in out um, I can actually very easily shift the track of my, the key of my track uh, and perform what I was talking about earlier. So I can make my C track into a B or a D flat track, or in this case I have an F track, so by pressing a semitone down it will become an E track, and pressing and going a semitone up it will become a G flat track. Um, this mapping is available for you as a download in this document. Just uh, upload it, so because you know clicking around and creating it yourself is a bit tedious. Uh, but you can use it and you can have the same convenience as I have here and I think this is to me like um, a major step to make key shifting work live as opposed to clicking around here and having to click like how many like 10 times to get a semitone up uh, this is not practical this is for life uh, I would not suggest to do that so use the key map and you'll be in full control. Uh, take a listen what it sounds like. Semitone down. Semitone down. Up, 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 up. So now this track is actually playing in G. But I would reduce this key shifting to one semitone to not interfere with the track too much to keep the original flavor of the track. So that's how I go about key shifting. I'm use my, I use my custom mapping uh, and you can do the same now. <laughs>